Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's a healing message. Okay, so we're going to see what needs healing. What can help you heal or get on the path to healing. Okay, Libra. I am using the Templar Tarot because I actually pick up stronger intuitive messages with these cards. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Please give me a message for Libra. All right, we got a few cards here. It's page of staves. There's some kind of uh, news. This is like good news, but of course you're playing a role in this. This is about you taking initiative to do something. It could lead to you um, getting some something that you've worked hard for. So we have, wow, Libra, look at that. We have the king and queen of swords. You're showing up here strong. You're showing up here strong. Okay, the first thing I'm getting is the masculine and the feminine within you is waking up. There's something about your thought process here. Because I, I feel like there is healing going on right now. Coming to terms, you guys are going going deep, or you need to go deep. The way they fell out together. Something's trying to complete come together it's like trying to give you something that you deserve wow yeah exactly look at that seven of pentacles it's like you did the work you did the work uh i see you receiving something Many of you, there's going to be an increase in your income here from whatever this is, because I see that you're you're in touch with yourself. You are you are balancing things here. I mean, the way these are here, I see someone giving you something. This is because you did the work, though. I'm going to keep going. Judgment. You heard the call. Sacrifices were made here. Sacrifices were made. So this has been a long time coming. Uh, many of you may not even feel like yourself anymore. Well, the old self, the old you, you you let it um, you let it hang on the cross and you crucified it. The old you is gone. Now you are stronger. But not only that, you you um you had to let go of a lot of things in your environment. So you you started assessing what you were going through. This is okay, so those of you who have not healed or you're not here yet, this is what you're gonna have to do. Because there's a coming together here. There's a, it's a, there's a wholeness for you, Libra. But judgment is here. This means you heard the call. You got the, you had a warning signal, something. Many of you, you're getting this warning signal right now. That these things that you still hold on to, 
that you're sacrificing yourself for, your true self, you're going to have to release them. So sacrifices are, are necessary here. There's things you're going to have to, yes, to bring in this uh, this good news, whatever this is. it's uh, I see an increase, number one, in your income, but I also see a balance within you, like a wholeness. Um, others of you, you might, if you're starting some kind of business or a new job, like there's something here about promotion. I'm going to keep going. Page of Cups. Nice. You're definitely in the beginning of the beginning stages of this new chapter in your life. So there's a emotion of fulfillment coming in. A lot of you through somebody who also did the work. They're going to match you perfectly. Uh, a lot of you, you're about to connect with your your other half here. Page of Cups. The star. I love this. You are you're doing it. You're evolving. You're seeing the star that you are. This indicates there's been a lot of work. You gave up a lot of things. So there's going to be a, a connection coming together. I see somebody giving to you. Many of you are about to receive a gift. Uh, it's like there's this offer of love here. There's a strong connection that you get after you move away. After you move away, Six of Swords, it fell, it's it spun around. Okay, now there's there's a there's a moving of, away from something, but not only that, you learn from it. You know that's why judgment is here. You you get it. You understand. You understand. Clean. Yep, you let it in. The difficult period, the difficult times, they're over. They're over. Some of you may not be here. The way these cards keep coming in reverse, some of you are not here. They're trying to get you here. There's things you got to release. Uh, you're gonna ha you're gonna go through an ending, a difficult ending. Some of you are fighting this difficult ending, fighting this movement away here. Some of you are fighting it, showing that you're not getting the lesson. You're not seeing the star that you truly are. Because you're not willing to make the sacrifices. You don't get this newness like these. The, the, the page is uh, hearing something, receiving something, uh, information coming in is like brand new, but it gives you a wonderful feeling. There's that coming when it comes to love or your emotional state. And uh, they're trying to get that for you when it comes to your ability to create something new for yourself. You know, new job, new business, new venture, period. It wanting to come in okay so that you can help it mature to the best that it can become which is the star that you are but there's things some of you are not willing to make those sacrifices uh you actually rather sacrifice yourself though that's what you're doing you're sacrificing yourself things you need to let go of because it's keeping you in shackles. It's keeping you bound. Four of Pentacles here. Many of you are in a jail, a prison. That you're afraid to remove yourself from. This is uh, internal. You believe you're in a jail. You believe you're in a prison. I don't know. I'm getting uh, Gemini energy here. Some of you may want to go listen to the Gemini reading. There's, a, there's something there for you. If you're led to go there, that message is for you too. 
I just uh, got that. Four of Pentacles, trying to get you all to heal and start, yes, getting in touch with your higher self here, listening to your intuition. There's uh, information being sent to you. They want you to trust it. The High Priestess. This is very deep here. It's like, I feel like you have the knowledge. You have the, you have what you need. You know what you need to do is what I'm getting. And you're experienced enough in life to know what's best for you overall. It's like you know what you need to do here. Those of you who are not here yet. Let me see what your last card is. Ten of Swords, it has to complete. If you're if you're uh trying to fight this ending, it's inevitable. Ten of Swords is here. There's a a tough period in your life that needs to end. Once that happens, uh, everything unravels that you, that is your, um, that's been promised to you, basically. Okay. Oh, I was going to shuffle, but we'll take these cards. You got to go through this transformation. The old you has to die off. You got to let it, uh. Let it go. Let it hang up there on the cross there. That's when that's when you'll start getting that sense of security, okay? So if you're dealing with inner conflicts, you're going to have to face it and make the decisions that's best for you. Because I see a lot of conflict around you. It has to end, okay? Ten of Swords. It has to end. Temperance. In reverse. There's like some kind of imbalance here. Disharmony. You're, you're not in touch here. Those of you who can't get can't remove yourself from an unhealthy environment, whatever it is, or an unhealthy habit or unhealthy way of doing something. You need to, uh, or what I recommend is meditation. Clear your mind. That helps you think better because there's something you need to walk away from. Some of you, this, this uh, codependency issues here. You're too dependent on something, a system, something. And there's like fear. It causes doubt. Meanwhile, the true you is trying to evolve so that you can become the star that you are. Okay, the true you is trying to evolve. Trying to. You got to let the changes come in. You got to make the change. It's going to be a major change. Yeah, it's going to probably change your life. Flip it upside down. But this thing that you've been waiting for, that's the only time you can draw it in. Otherwise, you'll be standing here. So you're going to have to initiate the change. Libra, That's uh, this is hard. I know. It, it, it means you've given up a, a part of you or who you um, believe you are. But there's a disharmony here. There's a dependency on something that you need to walk away from, remove yourself from, change your perspective on. Okay, Libra, please give me an energy card for Libra. You're all tied up right now. All right, for those of you who resonate with this, you're going to have to... It's like I'm, I'm just getting a lot of major change. So this is not going to be easy. 
um, it's not this is going to be hard um, but this is how you heal they're trying to give you this new beginning with the emotional fulfillment but a lot of you keeping yourself tied up again I'm getting the Gemini message may be helpful for many of you cornucopia this is where they're trying to lead you this is like heaven trying to put you in that place of endless bliss this is a beautiful card where your root your fruits they all harvest and you feel fruitful and everything is just positive positivity but some of you you're choosing to stay in this darkness where you're tied up all right you choose what do you want so all right i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna leave it there okay um Gemini. I'm sorry, not Gemini. I do recommend that you all listen to that though. Even if you know you have no connection to Gemini, that's also your message. The Gemini message is yours. I'm being like urged to continue to say that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I uh, hope this was helpful for you all. Okay. So Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.